World of a Garden is a show that journeys into the complex nature of all humans. It looks at the development process of our rational minds, but most importantly, our emotional development. It furthermore adds a theme that focuses on the process of dealing with loss. In many cultures, violets represent modesty and faithfulness, themes that I could say play into this work of art. To be honest, being human is hard enough with all the complex notions and emotions we experience and constantly have to handle each and every single day. This is truly one of the most beautiful shows I've ever had the honor of watching. To be honest, I could genuinely feel myself grow alongside Violet as she embarked on her journey to find out what the words I love you mean. True to form, the animation is breathtaking. The sensitivity in the detail is amazing. From the purple flowers slowly opening their bulbs to greet the sunshine, to the morning dew sliding down freshly cut blades of grass. But ironically enough though, the protagonist, Violet Evergarden, seemed to remain in a world of black and white. Even though her eyes could be said to resemble the ocean in its calmness but equally in its coldness. You see, the truth is, Violet could never comprehend emotions and because of this, she carried a cold demeanor that caused people to fear her or to just simply stay away from her. But that is up to the moment she met Major Gilbert Bougainvillea, a man who treated her as more than just an emotionalist too, but rather as a human being. To be honest, I can't seem to find the right words to express just how beautiful this anime is. But even though, I will do my best. So the quest to find out what those words mean began when she lost the man who gave her the experiences in order to start her life. Major Gilbert could be said to be the main reason for her existence. He was the center of our world. As long as he was by our side, everything made sense. To the point that he could send her into a burning building and she would gladly do it. You see, his orders were what kept her going. And this is a theme that played a huge role in her identity as the majors too. And when he went missing, his last words latched on to her and her mind obsessed over his words. I love you. Live and be free. Now, as I mentioned before, her eyes had an emotionless vibe that could truly be felt in each and every scene. But this was simply because she had no understanding of what these emotions were called. So she could feel them, but she didn't know what association each feeling had to specific words. An example of this was in the moment when she came across the brooch which resembled Gilbert's eyes. She knew it made her feel a certain way, but she didn't know what to call this sensation, until it was explained to her that what she felt is the appreciation of its beauty. Of course, she was then able to express herself and admit that the first time she saw the Major's eyes, she thought they were the most beautiful thing she had ever seen. But I can only presume because of the warmth and kindness they carried, but she didn't know how to express this. And as her journey began, she displayed this ignorance over the emotions others had and came off as cold and unsympathetic towards the people around her. You see, it was different in the army. She wasn't measured by her empathy, but rather her ability to obey orders and execute commands rationally and accurately. Now, as a person who finds it hard to understand sentimentality, to be honest, I could relate to her, and I understood her confusion. But you see guys, apart from this cold demeanor she exhibited, Violet was suffering and because of something that she had no knowledge of. You see, her grey existence had shielded her from all the sound and intensity of life. Much like an old soundless film. The truth is, in as much as being human means experiencing all the beauty of life and the bliss it has to offer, there is that darkness it casts over us sometimes mostly in the form of our own foolishness and folly. But in our case, it was a matter of, well, mistakes. In our endeavor to unwrap the cold and emotionless exterior she carried, seeking to understand the meaning of the last words spoken to her by the Major, she neglected the negative aspect of this revelation she sought out. As Hargens put it, you don't realize your body is on fire and burning up because of the things you've done. Lieutenant Hudgens was a man who had willingly taken part in the war. Unlike Violet, who was simply a two in the conflict, and unlike her, he felt the weight of each life he had taken. 
Violet was his redemption, and his company was the means he used to atone for his sins, so rather than take lives, he could bring people together. The grayness that Violet had was a comfort. It delivered quick, slight jokes that could be picked up at certain moments during the show. But as she got exposed to different people during her journey as an auto memories doll, this gray exterior would begin to slowly melt off. As she encountered Lucalia and Spencer, the princess and her love interests, all encounters which would be of benefit in melting this exterior. But the most profound encounters she would have are in episode 7, 10, and 11, as these would solidify the nature of her situation when she meets Oscar, the morning husband and father, who drowns his sorrows in alcohol and wishes for nothing more but his daughter to come back. This gave her the first realization of loss, an emotion she had not understood and came to fear, as the possibility of the major dying just really crippled her with fear. In a previous life, she was feared as the warrior maiden, and her abilities had no competition, but so was her ruthlessness. But she never felt the weight of the countless lives she had taken. And looking at Oscar grieve for the loved ones he had lost made her think of the countless men whose families missed them and how it was all her fault. She previously recalled the words that Hajins had spoken and in light of this she had finally realized all the burns she had and the question of whether she deserved to live or die began to haunt her. It is in this irreplaceable quality that the show carries that I just simply love it. Because guys, you see, rather than paint war with romantic views, Violet Evergarden shows it for all the pain and true reality it holds. Her journey to realize her own emotions and find meaning in what it means to truly live and be free are what make this show such a treat. As a true beautiful astounding work of art, it can be said everything is perfect from the blending of the colors to the music that sings perfectly to the viewer's senses and complements each moment adding a sense of ambience and satisfaction to every scene. Major Gilbert gave her the greatest gift of all, which was love, being the only person who believed in her to be more than just an emotionless tool. And this was an action that added to her development when she finally realized that he was gone the one person who chose to believe in her and sacrificed his very life to save her. Before the event that led to his disappearance, he had a conversation with her that she would understand in the future. He wanted her to live and be free, but not under his command, but rather as an individual. His greatest worry was that after the war, Violet would be left empty, because guys there would be no purpose for a tool like her. Which brings me to a statement she had made before. I am a tool that is not useful and as such, I must be discarded as one. It is in this statement that I truly understood Gilbert's frustration and fear. And after she found out about his disappearance and possible death, the major's fears came true. Because she isolated herself and fell into a state of depression. The calmness in her eyes was suddenly replaced with a tremble, just like the ocean when the currents are wild and uncontrollable. Emotions that she had never experienced finally hit her and her reactions were expected. To be honest, this was a moment that felt more like a victory because she was finally facing her emotions, the warrior maiden. Her hands in the past had taken countless lives and she had finally become a person who gave so many people hope and peace. An ironic situation to be honest, but a beautiful concept. The day that the Major went missing meant the end of the two and the beginning of Violet the door. In a symbolic but funny enough literal sense. Because she lost her arms on that day and gained new arms that allowed her to deliver the innermost complex thoughts that people simply couldn't express acting as a medium of hope between two people. Let us carry a special ability, whether it be to remind a friend of a schedule or to express complex thoughts that can be put into audible words. The fact remains, they carry a significant role in our lives, as we express ourselves through them. 
The role of an auto memories door is to help people express themselves through letters, a role that leaves one with the burden of carrying an individual's longing and joy. In episode 11, Violet encounters a young dying soldier named Aiden, who had a family and friends he wished to see once more. What I loved about this episode was how it highlighted Violet's newfound emotional growth. In a beautiful moment where she shared the young soldier's frustration, placing all his emotions into a letter that she would go on to deliver to his family. The beauty of a moment that her path to redemption was finally realized, and the hands that once took, now saved, proving the words Hajin spoke to her. You cannot change the past, but you cannot change the good deeds you have done as a doll. From cold and unsympathetic to kind and generous, now, while the pacing of the show can be quite irritating, this irreplaceable quality it carries makes it worth watching. Taking this journey and understanding her emotions, I can honestly say I didn't want this story to end. Because as a person who is going through grief, it gave me a sense of peace and tranquility. A feeling I haven't felt in a while. You see guys, there is no greater pain than feeling powerless to help the person you love the most. Watching them die in your arms and knowing that all you can do is hope that everything will be fine. As she goes through all the steps of loss, my tears couldn't simply be held back. 